watching Let's Chat. Our friends at Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union always doing something great for our community, and this month is no exception. August is National Black Business Month. Here to spend a few minutes with us talking about that, it is Marcus K. Johnson, who's one of the business lenders at TVFCU. Marcus, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. How yes, are you? sir. I'm doing great. Thank you for sharing a few minutes of your very busy time. Tell Thank us what you. you guys at TVFCU are doing to celebrate National Black Business Month. Thank you. So National Black Business Month uh, is an opportunity for uh, communities around the country uh, to stop and recognize and support uh, their local Black-owned businesses. Uh, and so what we're doing at TVFCU uh, as we have chosen several of our small uh, black owned businesses to highlight uh, during this month. I was looking at the list of some of these businesses and wanted to spend just a few seconds going over uh, a good part of them. Bonner yeah. Consulting Services, fill us in on them. Yes, yeah, so that Bonner Consulting Services uh, is owned by Latoya Bonner and it's a tax preparation uh, service. Um, and she has been in business for about five years now um, and she is doing an outstanding job. The way she was connected with us is she helped a lot of her uh, clients help get the PPP money. Um, and so we realized that there were uh, many black owned businesses that were struggling to access the, the relief that was put out there due to COVID-19. Right. Uh, and so Latoya was one of the businesses that we were able to help. And then once we helped her, uh, she was able to refer several of her clients over to us. And so we've been able to establish a really good working relationship with uh, Latoya Bonner and Bonner Consulting. In the banking business, obviously, one good, satisfied client can bring in literally dozens of others, like Copeland absolutely. Child Care, for example. Absolutely, absolutely. So Copeland Child Care, uh, that's owned by Shamika Copeland. It is a daycare uh, center that she has, and she's actually getting ready to open up a second location. Uh, Shamika has been a client of ours uh, for a while now. Um, and we helped her to uh, secure some financing for her second location. Uh, she's doing a great job. She has uh, 12 children at her current location. Mm -hmm. um, and then when she opens up her next one, I believe she'll have a room for about 24. So she's growing uh, and we're proud to, to help her grow. One of my favorites, and I mean one of my favorites, Chatterbox Cafe. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You, you do not know barbecue in Chattanooga. <laughs> if you have not visited Brandon and Chatterbox Cafe, uh, he, he is great. Um, he is actually uh, a part of our Ideally uh, Loan Initiative that we've um, been able to help startups and local small businesses access funding. We've been doing Ideally now for four years. Uh, and Brandon is a beneficiary of that. Uh, and so between going out there and, and getting lunch and checking on his business, he's always out there doing great things. He's growing. And everybody in the community uh, is familiar with his barbecue. So The next uh, time you see Chef Brandon, you tell him he has got the wholehearted and full belly <laughs> chip chaff and seal of approval. All right. Mean, I certainly will. Mean Green Janitorial. Yes. So that is Kelvin Lloyd. Um, you know, he, he is really uh, special to us, um, partially because uh, he is a veteran. Uh, he served in the Navy. Um, but then also, um, he has been in, in the business, cleaning business, for 15 years now. Mm -hmm. um, he's one of our, our clients, both on the business side, um, and he does business with us personally. Um, and he, he's just a great guy. He, he employs 60 folks. Um, in his operation, uh, and he really tries to empower uh, his employees to not just work, you know, with him and for him, but to think bigger, and he encourages them uh, to make sure that they're always focused on the things that uh, they want to accomplish. But Kelvin, Kelvin is great. We really enjoy him. And, of course, the Million Dollar Man. And I want to jump ahead for just a moment to the Second yeah. Missionary Baptist Church. Tell us how they're involved with TVFCU. Yeah, so Second Missionary Baptist Church uh, has been a long-time member uh, of the credit union, going back at least 30 years. Um, and so we were able to uh, help them. They're doing some renovations, um, and we were able to help them. Uh, but they have just been a, a big supporter of, of the credit union. They're heavy in, in the African-American 
uh, community. They're doing a lot of great things. And they've been um, in this community for over 100 years. And so mm -hmm. we just felt like, based on the fact that they've been in the Chattanooga community so long and their relationship uh, with the credit union, it was definitely appropriate to make sure that we, we recognize them. And you folks have got a number of other businesses, and we'll be talking about those in the coming weeks. And you've assembled a series of videos to show just how easy it is to get involved with TVFCU. And you guys have been here in the community for decades and decades doing a great job. And thanks to each and every one of your staff at Tennessee Valley Thank you. Federal Credit Union. You can find out more about these videos, check them out for yourself, and even if you're happy or satisfied with your current financial institution, TVFCU is definitely worth checking out. Go to their website, tvfcu.com, tvfcu.com. Marcus K. Johnson, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Chip. We really appreciate your time this morning. And we will see you back here right after this.